Welcome to 13 hour time 62. Flashback specials featuring new news of the days of old in Lego history. For today's special flashbacks, we have one of the oldest Lego bricks in my collection. Um, it may be a little bit hard for you guys to see on camera, but you're going to have to trust me on this. Um, it's a little bit hard to see because it's not, you know, super duper high quality. It's just an iPod camera. What are you going to do? Uh, and I'm not going to, you know... <laughs> so let's just go on with it. On the left, we have a 2x4 in white. This is a, just a regular standard Lego brick. And on the right is just the same, but so far, we, there's a couple differences. We'll take a look at some of those. The first one on them is on each of these. You can see it says Lego on every stud. See if I can do it that way. There we go. Not, not that bad for the camera. You can see it's just kind of simple, simple line on them. On the next one, you can see a bit of a difference. Not only it looks a bit crumblier. Well, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I mean, yes, it is much older because obviously it's an older brick. Um, but if you look at it closely, you can see. A difference in the printing. Let's see if I can hold it this way. Try to get it in there. But basically, it looks a lot more like the actual Lego logo printed on every single stud. So that, I think, is really unique. That's how I can tell it's an older brick. There's no modern ones do that. You can also see that the backs of them are very similar. Um, so far the only change I can see between them is they don't have that line in the middle. As you see in the middle, um, knob, I think it's a knob, I'm not sure. But you can see there's a line in the middle of this one, not on that one. Um, there's not much difference between these two. I don't know which set I actually got this from, I think it just found it somewhere. Um, but I don't remember having a set that would be old enough to have others like that. Just a random piece that I found, and I'm happy to have found it, because it's probably the oldest Lego brick I have. I don't know the year, though, so it's hard to say. Um, some of the oldest ones that I do have, I think I have a pirate around here, from, like, the original 80s pirates um, theme. It was one of the, it was like a, it looked like a red coat, but it was actually blue, so something like that might be um, some of the oldest, that's probably the oldest minifigure that I have. Um, I, you know, so that's basically what I have for you guys today, just showing what's, you know, most classic or most, the oldest in my collection. I'll just give this a quick spin around, that's why it's sitting on here. But there's not much to see, there's just the same shape. Not much difference between them. But still, take try to, let me see if I can get a closer look at that. Put it against something dark, maybe. You can see it a little bit better. Thanks for watching this uh, episode of Flashback. We'll try to catch up with you next week on some new, um, some new episode. I will be trying to do a Flashback episodes, which... Um, will involve minifigure or set or theme evolutions. Basically, they're going to be photo slideshows showing when um, when the themes, minifigures or sets, just kind of how they change throughout history. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, let me put that up again. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and we will see you next Thursday. By the way, in case you don't know, um, it's, it's on Thursdays because Throwback Thursday, um, you know, Flashbacks is kind of the Throwback Thursday of my channel. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next Thursday.